To you. Once upon a time, many moons ago, there was an intoner who was infected by a flower. This intoner had five younger sisters. Each of them cursed as well. Fearful of the flower's immense force, the intoner began searching for a dragon, a dragon strong enough to kill every last intoner. Refugee who had fled to the land of seas. At the same time, I was in constant pursuit of the flower. Specifically, the five incarnations of the flower that had split off from me. My sisters. I had to hunt them down. And I had to kill them all. And I didn't have much time left. Little bastards. Your faces make me want to puke. Can't even see our faces! <sighs> what? You losers are way too tough for grunts, you know that? Is that... Uh, a dragon? Do you humans call these exact creatures as they peacefully soar through the sky? My name is Michael. If you enjoy killing each other as much as you seem to, perhaps you allow me to join in the fun. I was short on time, see? I had to finish before the flower stole what little remained of me. I couldn't afford to make another mistake. I had to kill my sisters. And then, I had to destroy the flower for good. But in order to do that, there was one critical item that I absolutely had to procure. The strongest dragon in the world. Lady Cerulea's order! Ah! That girl, she's so strong! But if we retreat, what will our leader say? Hey! Hey! 
drag. I'm still alive, you know. Foolish girl. You dare to the mightiest of the noble dragon race. Your death is nigh. My crimson flames shall serve as your funeral fire. It's funeral fire, you moron. Damn you. Shut your insolent mouth at once. <laughs> Over here, you dumb flying ox! I'd rather be killed by Lady Cerulea than this crazy woman! Yeah, what's going on you can here? try! Who knows? Even if she... What do you care? <laughs> you still live, girl. <laughs> Damn right I do. Now kill me if you can. You and I have much to discuss. That was my first encounter with Michael. He was stupid, and not nearly as strong as he thought. I see. So Mikhail was Michael in the time before his reincarnation? Yeah. And what was Michael called previous to that? I don't know. Michael never liked talking about his past much. I see. Hey Z, you've been dealing with dragons and junk for a while, right? Mind answering a couple of questions? Sure. Ask me anything. Well, first of all, what do they like to eat? Don't know. Well then, how do they make fire? The stuff they breathe, I mean. Don't know. Um, okay. So, I heard once that dragons don't have good peripheral vision. Don't know. What about- Don't know. I didn't even ask a goddamn question! So, did you and this stupid dragon Michael become best buds right away, or what? What do you think? Seems doubtful. <laughs> You've been paying attention. So, did you split up after that, or what? Hold on, I'm getting to it. such uncouth and abhorrent taste. Okay, first of all, enough with the bullshit <laughs> fancy talk. What? You dare ridicule the 12,000 years of knowledge imparted to the divine huh? Didn't you say 8,000 years <laughs> yesterday? Quit fudging the numbers. Ridiculous. I would never stoop to the level of... But still, I suppose I could be convinced to try out a use of 
Even a lofty dragon such as myself gets something of a sweet tooth from time to time. Alright, alright, stop. <laughs> Stupid boxes. You're all going down. <laughs> keep coming back unless I take them all out. Such a pain in the ass. Are we going? I know about the flower. It is intrinsically related to my brown dragon race. Michael explained it like this. Dragons have been the natural enemies of the flower since ancient times. And dragons were the only creatures in existence that could destroy the flower. When he saw I was infected with it, it kind of hit a nerve, I guess. Michael kept describing it with words like destiny and Preordained. Annoying as hell, actually. But whatever. All I needed was his help. The flower had become my sisters, and they had to be destroyed. And once that was done, I had to be destroyed as well. After I told him that, he stayed quiet for a while. Apparently, it was a pretty agonizing decision for him. He'd been alive for a very, very long time. Long enough to know every kind of loss imaginable. And sometimes all that pain and loneliness got in the way of his thinking. But after a while, he whispered two words to me. Very well. And that was the start of our relationship. Now, will you tell me where we're going? The mountain. Which mountain? I believe it's called Mount Burn... Smith? Burn... Slice? Huh? Speak up! The name doesn't matter. It's a holy mountain, all right? Forgot it, did you? The dragon had lived for millennia. He had fought thousands of battles. He had lost count of how many people and other creatures he had killed. In the end, all that remained was a mountain of smoldering castles and half-burnt corpses. And over the sad and endless years, everything the dragon once believed in had become as ashes in the wind. This place is nice and all, but why are we here exactly? According to our lore, the flower you carry will bring ruin upon the entire world. That's what they tell me. As such, it is my duty to kill you on this very spot. Okay? And yet, I have concerns about this. If I believed every cradle tale my elders told me, I would be no better than you foolish, low-born humans. 
Look, what's the deal? Are you going to kill me or not? I must test your strength. Huh? A hideous clutch of monsters call this mountain home. If you have the strength to defeat them, you likely have the strength to suppress your curse. Overcome this trial, and I will grant you the right to live. It will not be easy. Hey, wait a... Hey! Get back here, asshole! What kind of ridiculous reason is that? Don't leave me alone on this shit heap, you goddamn idiot! Stupid shit like this. This is such a pain in the ass. Michael was different from your typical dragon. Dragons are usually intelligent, dignified, reluctant to deal with people. Michael tried to act the part, but there was something off about the whole thing. And what's more, he seemed to take an actual interest in the human race. So, I tried to take advantage of that good-natured friendliness in order to fulfill my own goals. Yeah, I... Ugh, son of a bitch! <laughs> this is all that dickhole crap! As soon as I'm off this stupid man, he's dead. to survive. I can't believe you made me climb this bullshit mountain. You didn't climb it. Oh, whatever. Hurry along. You need to go. Go where? Next up is the land of forests. Where? What? You didn't say anything about doing more of this crap. And when did I say this was all there was? You need to pay closer attention. Otherwise, someone will end up swindling you. Shut your trap, would you? You know, you've taken me to a lot of bad places, but this big shithole really takes the cake. Uh -huh. Is that fear I detect? Forbidden toner? Shut up! Test of strength, Zero. Who do I fight now? Me. Prove your strength by besting me in combat. If you are so able, I shall grant your wish. I, Michael, the strongest of all dragons, will become your friend and companion. And together we shall overcome every obstacle the flower sees fit to place in our path. How many times have I told you to knock off the formal bullshit? And I never asked for a friend. Begin! Hey, c 
Come on, wait a second. I didn't ask for this. Besides, you aren't the strongest of any. Stupidest, maybe, but not the strongest. Enough of your insurance. If you don't want to die, raise your guard. Son of a bitch. Isn't this a little sudden? Is that all you've got in my person and toner? Hey, it's kind of tough to get motivated all spur of the moment like this. Not insulting like some beast boy. Attack me with all of your might. Along the line, I started to enjoy talking with Michael. You always hear about how no one can live alone. And according to Michael, it was the same with dragons. He once mentioned, almost casually, that for him, being alone was no different from being dead. I found it hard to believe a dragon could ever feel such loneliness. But, I guess they can. Or, Michael could at least. He was too stupid to lie to me about it. And it was clear he wanted me to feel the same. You... you all right? You have five sisters left to kill. How can you accomplish such if you cannot even finish this task? I know that, all right? After living for all these millennia, after losing all that I loved and believed in, all that remained inside me was loneliness. I thought I would never speak to another person again, but as for why I desire to be with Zero, I cannot say. Perhaps I was expecting something. Release from the eternal cycle that bound me to the world for all time. alongside you. It might even prove to be simulating. I think you mean stimulating, Michael. Hmm, so that's how you first met Michael. Yep. By the way, when did all of you get here? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. So, how am I supposed to avoid this disastrous branch you're talking about? Well, we actually don't know yet. You don't know, but you came to warn me anyway? What are you, stupid? There's never any harm in gathering information, is there? You realize that getting too attached to a dragon could cost you later. No one asked you. And I'm not attached to him, all right? Yes, but looking at our observation records, I see you've been smiling more since making contact with Michael. I don't pay attention to shit like that. Michael is so boundlessly fascinating to me. He tries to act dignified, but he lacks the intelligence to pull it off. Is that perhaps stimulating your maternal instinct, Zero? No, not at all. I'm not interested in joining up with you. But I will put an end to this flower. Understood. However, if you fail to destroy the flower... We will be forced to eliminate the singularity. In other words, you. And then, seal off this branch forever. I'm not here to fail. 
So just stay the hell out of my way. If you mess with me, I'll kill you all. Got it? Such confidence. Are you sure you can trust Michael that much? I don't trust him at all. But he... he wouldn't lie to me. He can't. He's too stupid for it to even occur to him. And no matter how many times he fails, he'll keep his promise. And kill me in the end. So, in other words, you're trusting him after all, right? Shut up. I've never once trusted Michael. He was just an idiot dragon with a knack for saying things wrong. Why would anyone trust someone like that? We were always growing with each other, you know? It was a lot of fun. But sometimes Michael would get this one expression on his face. And I couldn't tell if it was happy or sad. Michael, just hold on, okay? I'll be joining you soon. The night he chose to fight the Intoner, the dragon had a dream. The boy was a friend, one he fought with long ago. The dragon was shaking, shaking with the fear of yet another battle with the fear of yet another loss. As the dragon headed for a broken world, the boy stood silent.